Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 19 on CDS view. In this series or in this session, I am going to explain how to consume the CDS in analysis for offers. It's nothing but Excel. Okay. So the basic CDS which normally we create a lot of joints, associations and everything. And on top of it, we need to include few more annotations to make sure this is going to be enabled in analysis for office tool. Okay, so that is the idea of this session. Let's get into the one. So the basic thing is, it requires um, two annotations mainly. One is data category and VDM type. So this is actually a small methodology. It's not just an annotation. This is uh, behind this. There are some uh, functionalities are uh, available for data category and medium type. There are few data categories and few medium types as well. So if you're not uh, gone through it or if you if you don't have any knowledge about data category and medium type, please go through my video number twelve. Uh, in that I'm explain what is medium type and what is data category, how we can use it, and uh, as suppose if you are on a client side, uh, probably everything in place, so it's very easy to connect your CDS with the analysis for offers tool. If not, sometimes in client side or sometimes in your uh, training system, we need some SAP nodes to be implemented. I'm not sure whether we can implement the same in your training system, but if it is a client or your uh, company system, you can request the uh, concerned people basis so to implement the SAP note, especially to make sure the connection between the CDS and uh, the offer should be good. Okay. Let me get into the system. So here, this is my simple CDS view. Okay, nothing different. I have a SQL view name, compiler and it's just a text and it, this is Mara and MAKT in a join I displayed three fields so now I'm going to or I'm trying to get this CDS view in my analysis for office tool okay let me try that one and another one is uh, automatically it converts your CDS view name it start with 2C 2 is a numeric C is alphabet then your view name ZJI material okay I'll show you that so first let me get into analysis for office tool and there are an, another thing is like analysis for Microsoft PowerPoint as well so let's see one by one let me open Excel and uh, how you know my Excel has this facility or this add-on is available implemented is there are some uh, view, uh, menus are to be enabled okay if you have an analysis for tool in your excel there are some menus to be enabled let me close this here you can able to see uh, analysis okay this is one of the view uh, this is the uh, view which needs to be available make sure yes uh, this particular excel has this analysis for office tool so go to the analysis for offers and it's very basic okay and very simple so if you want to um, connect anything from your um, third party system or any system you need a connectivity right so for what i'm going to do is i'm going to show insert data source okay so these are recent one they opened so I'm, I'm going to select select data source so basically this analysis for offers is uh, designed for bw objects and uh, so it by default you will get the bw window so what is your business objects bw business objects window so what is your user id and password so we have created a cds in the uh, s4hana system so not with B, uh, view objects so what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip this option then it will display uh, what are all the systems available in your gui like your ipad uh, sap logon pad so not ipad i'm sorry sap logon pad okay so it will display the systems whatever is configured basically your ini file so my cds is available in this system select the system click next then it will ask the credentials 
so 800 user the respective client number username and password to connect your system where your cds is available click ok then the next window comes here you can start searching it ok so my uh, i know about my view name is zji so i just go with cj star enter probably it will come with no result the reason behind this that is a simple yeah no result okay because that is a very uh, simple uh, serious view the annotation of data category and vdm vdm type is missing okay so let's go to the view and add those two um, options okay annotations so i need analysis little bit slow not sure why analysis data category you have some types okay uh, it's coming now okay control space bar you have cube dimension fact and everything so i'll go with the basic one dimensions okay then i need a medium type medium view type is basic So this is my uh, way of learning. So how I learned how this, how I can enable my CDS into the analysis for offers. So in that way, I have just used this data category and VDM type and uh, act toward it. In some scenarios, even without VDM type also, it will show. I'll, I'll explain that one. Okay. So activate it successfully. Now go to analysis for offers. Do the same. C J I star enter. It should come. Yes. So here it, it's it's coming your view name. So as I mentioned, it's not your entity name, it's a view name. And before that you have two C. Okay. Two C is a by as a naming convention and Z I J I underscore material. Okay, now so this is the main part. So you are you have to enable your CDS in analysis for offers. So after that, you have to click next. It will show you what are the fields you want, how you can add it, everything, and click finish. Unfortunately, I'm not able to proceed further because uh, some nodes are missing, SAP nodes. I So this is a training system, so I'm not able to uh, implement those nodes over here. Okay, but after that is very simple. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just click OK. It shows an error message. So here, this is the error message. So I tried, uh, these are things, what is the error message? It, it leads me to uh, ask to implement some SAP nodes over here. So that's what I'm not able to continue, but it's very simple after that. Once it is connected, you will get a data source over here. Your CDS view fields comes. I have a screenshot I will show you, like material, material type, uh, material name and everything. And you can drag and drop. I want this to be a column. I want this to be a row. So everything you can able to do it, background filter, mostly it's related to Excel. So I know everyone is good in Excel. So it is not a big deal. And more, moreover, as a developer, uh, our um, idea would be create a CDS based on the business requirement and make sure a CDS is enabled in the analyst for offers. So after that, user will just go through uh, this area and they may come back, I want this change or this is not working. So it depends on the user, it will come, okay? So um, this is almost, this is the place where you have to make sure a series is enabled. Few things, like suppose if I generate without a key, okay? So I want to make sure, yes, this is also reflect in the analysis or offers. So I'm trying to activate it. Yeah, it's saying activate successfully. With error, it says activate it successfully. Let it be. So I want to go in analyze for offers and this is disabled. If it is disabled, don't worry. Go to file. 
open data source go to open data source so here again it's the same one so let me go ahead and press enter just for a refresh so i want the recent change to be included in that uh, cds view so the key is missing okay so select it and click ok the next uh, button should be enabled i think because the connectivity or some issue is in the background so here it says it's in a different message now it shows very clearly it's not correct whatever the mentioned ZA material is not correct so it's not does not exist so any one of the uh, issue so uh, this is trying to connect with your backend system and a few things are missing maybe the nodes will correct it because we have the same issue in the client and we implemented it it's working fine in our client side so just click close if there is no key you will get a different error message so that is the idea I want to just communicate to you okay so now this is the way the analysis for always work normally um, this is a very simple example uh, but in real time you will get a very big uh, logic behind it you have a table function inside you have a um, your own uh, class and methods it's like uh, functions table functions you have and on top of it you have your own series view like composite view after that you have a consumption view or dimension of basics okay so after that the final view to be uh, communicated a final view to be uh, consumed in your analysis for offers so final view has only fields it doesn't have any uh, even uh, data manipulation concept joins and association is okay but uh, moreover keep your consumption view is only fields that is very easy for the consumption as well okay i will show you a few slides it could be useful for you just for your understanding purpose so once your uh, analysis your offers is okay after implementing sap note it should like this so data source it display all the fields of your cds view then you can drag and drop to the columns or the row wherever you want you can drag and drop it okay and uh, after that uh, i just uh, tried with the different combinations of vdm type and data category and uh, i try to uh, enable it in the analysis for office tool as well so this is my uh, thing like i tried suppose if the data category is empty vdm is also empty it won't consume in office you have a data category and VDM type without a key field also is no and after that these categories I tried like dimension basic composite consumption cube basic and everything yes till that time yes and I tried with fact and composite fact and basics and consumption that is not available in the uh, analysis for offers so this is uh, from my experience which I tried okay same way i have tried a few more options with like direct table con uh, information or joins inner join inner and outer with the table so everything is enabled in consumption everything is uh, visible in the consumption uh, sorry uh, analysis for offers and uh, whenever there is a fact definitely it is not uh, visible in your analysis for office tool okay so hope this might be useful and uh, if you work in a client side everything is in place it's very simple to consume a CDS view in analysis for offers. Okay, so hope this will be helpful. Please let me know if you have any question. Thank you for your time. See you in the next video.